Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Peter and in this video I will finish the custom Thrustmaster wheel for which I made electronics in one of my previous clips. So here's the steering wheel I bought on eBay and I paid around £25 for it. So I wasn't expecting much from it, but it's quite alright. I mean, the metal plate inside it's uh, pretty stiff, it has four buttons, and in my opinion, it actually looks pretty cool. The main downside is that it doesn't just feel great in the hand because of this cheap, rubbery, plasticky thingy it's made of. But to be honest, I only got it for the purpose of making this video, and I'm not even sure I'll be using it going forward. Um, just one side note, I'm just wondering, how is it even possible uh, they allow selling something with Sparco on it? <laughs> I don't know, it feels a weird one. Anyways, the first thing is to design how we'd like the wheel to look like. The buttons layout, etc. So let's jump into Fusion 360 and I'll show you exactly how I made it. I started from reproducing all the curves and widths of the wheel's center part. And here it is. So I just um, made the, the central metal bit. Um, I didn't recreate the whole wheel uh, just because I didn't need it for my design and I just didn't want to waste any time on that. Next step is um, designing the button box. So we have all the four buttons um, that are with the wheel. And I also wanted to add a joystick and two rotary encoders on the top. That was the idea, but unfortunately, when testing the wiring, it turned out that the encoders just don't work properly with the Arduino sketch I uploaded in the previous video. And here I want to give a huge shout out to Taras, who is the creator of the code, um, as he was super helpful in, expla in explaining me um, how I can make it work. But to be honest, after a few tries, I had to give up and move it down my to-do list because I just couldn't get it to work. And so I amended my design and uh, decided to use simple toggle switches instead. Because I know that these are just work without any issues. And if I manage to get the rotary encoders working, um, then I'll definitely update the description of the video. So here's the whole body of the wheel. It might not look as much, but the intention of this video was to guide you how to make one yourself rather than create something super duper. And because, in my opinion, it's just not worth it to, to put the extra effort for such a basic and cheap wheel. And at the same time, it's not that bad, as far as I see it. So here's just a quick overview on each side. As you can see on the back, we have the mounting holes uh, for the 70 millimeter spacing of majority of the steering wheels. And then there are these rails here for the shifters, because I'm going to attach um, my paddle shifters that I made in one of the other videos as well. And here it is. Next step is to design the wiring. First is a quick overview of all the components that we need to connect the Arduino. So we have our two switches. Uh, toggle switches, the four buttons that are with the wheel, the gear up and gear down buttons, and then the joystick which also has a click button in it. Next, I wanted to figure out which button of my uh, P310 wheel corresponds to, uh, to the button in the Windows Game Controllers manage Manager. So here um, is the mapping that I got. So the like the gear down is button one, gear up is button two, then we have these button 10, 9, etc. 
So that's how I uh, did the mapping. Afterwards, I decided which of the buttons and switches in my custom wheel need to match the ones from the original Thrustmaster wheel. So mainly because I didn't want to change the uh, key assignments uh, in, in the games I'm using. So this way I can just replace the wheel and it will all be working the same way. So what I also did in the meantime is checking which pins from Arduino board um, trigger the buttons in Windows. So I, I simply connected, um, you know, like in the previous video, we connected one uh, button to the to the Arduino board and we tested it and it was all working fine. So that was, um, as far as I remember, connected to pin D7 and the ground. So what I did just to check all the other buttons, I went literally through all the pins, connecting them to the ground. Just make sure you don't uh, do that for the uh, power pins, like plus 5 volts and um, 3 volts, etc. Just d do it only across the A, so A0 to A7, and also you have we have the uh, D2 to D12, plus the RX0 and TX1. These are the only pins you should be checking. The other ones won't, won't be mapped. So, based on my findings and based on the mapping I made on the screen, I created this, the wiring sketch. And at first it might look a bit overwhelming, and I'm fully aware of that, but let me just go slowly one by one. So first of all we have this table in the corner here, and I made it based on the findings, findings before. So. Uh, First of all, the, the buttons recognized for my P10 wheel, uh, then the, the different switches I have in my custom wheel, and also the testing of the pins in Arduino. And so I know that the pin A1 will be recognized by Windows as button 2 being pressed, and I want the button 2 to be geared up. And that's how I did it for all the other, uh, other uh, buttons as well. A separate command is required for the joystick because if you look at how I plan to put it inside my wheel, it's upside down. So basically my up position is originally uh, down as per the uh, joystick board design. So if you look at it here, this is up and I'm in my case it's going to be down. So I had to kind of make all the wiring the other way around. So like here we have the pin for up and it's going to be my down. Here's left, it's going to be right in my case. Here's down, it's going to be up. And here's right, in my case, it's going to be left. A bit confusing, I know, but when I put it all in like this in table and with this mapping, I really had no issues with connecting all the wires together. I will include these diagrams, so the links will be in the description. But just to show you one example of um, how this, how the wiring is done. So let's look at, for example, for, on button R2. So this is the button R2, and it is supposed to be recognized as uh, button five, number 5, and therefore should be connected to pin A4. So if I look at where it's connected, as you can see, it goes down to pin A4, and then the other connection from that button is the ground. The one thing you have to bear in mind in here is that all the buttons and the switches and the joystick, all of them, have to connect to one ground pin on Arduino, and it is a bit problematic sometimes to connect all the ground wires, so that's why it's quite important to think it through. Um, and figure out the best and most efficient way of co connecting all the grounds together. Okay, so I won't be talking much more about this diagram. Like I said, I will include the, the link to the, in the description where you can find it. And, you have, and if you have any questions at all, just ask in the comments. I'll definitely reply. 
And here's the finished wiring in few pieces. As I mentioned earlier, using the GST connectors um, makes the maintenance much easier and now you can clearly see why. I mean, each component can be just unplugged and simply replaced if needed. Let me quickly zoom into each piece and then I'll put it all together. First is the wheel front plate. Uh, we have the four buttons here. Arduino in the middle, held in place by double-sided tape and the joystick board under this black mounting plate. The buttons are soldered directly uh, to Arduino because the tops in this particular case can be unscrewed so there's no need for the JST. So as you can see, I'm... okay, I can just simply unscrew it and replace if anything is needed. The joystick connects to uh, Arduino via this 8-pin JST connector and I simply plug it in like so. Second piece is the body in which I have two toggle switches and paddle shifters all also connected um, connecting to Arduino with this 8-pin JST. In addition, each shifter has a separate connector here, so I can replace it easily for a different design I'm currently working on. And make sure you subscribe so you won't miss it. And lastly, there's the PS2 connector with the quick release adapter, and that's the piece I made in my previous video. Time to connect all the pieces. I have the joystick already plugged in, so now let's connect the switches and the shifters. And now the PS2 connector. It looks a bit flimsy, but it's only because I'm recording it. Off camera is much, much easier, trust me. So the step, next step is just to put it together and hold it with screws, but um, I won't do it on camera because you have to watch out not to squeeze any cables um, and it's just almost impossible to record. So I'll show you the whole thing together in a moment when I'm done with this. And here it is. I have to say, I'm pretty happy with the final result. Looks pretty cool. Okay. Let's try it out. Copy that, bit request confirmed. We're ready for you when you are.
Okay, that's it for the video. I've put all the links in the description and that includes also the, the first custom wheel um, I've made and I showed it in a few of my videos already. And that's it. Um, thank you very much for watching and have a great rest of the day. Bye.